Now, this is where all my mistakes, and this cost me quite a lot of money, this stuff, in mistakes, and it's Holtz Cataloy Knife and Putty. It's got some good reviews, it's got some bad reviews. I bought some of my daughter, uh, applied some, and this is my daughter just, you know, helping me out. Uh, quickly applied some to fill in these little holes, um, let it dry for what I said on the tin or on the tube. I think it's like half an hour, 45 minutes, it didn't dry. This is the next day, I believe it's the next day after leaving some. Um, and it, it, it was just a nightmare of the stuff. So I went back to the 2K. I, I, I digged out a load of the stuff that didn't dry properly. It was a bit bitty. I think you're supposed to use it very, very, very finely, like micron fine. Um, maybe I was using it a bit too thick. Um, I believe, like, that's what I believed at the time. So a bit later on in the video, I used, used it a little bit more. It's kind of like, um, say, orange peel. It's just little pits. In where I was sanding it down. I'm not too sure whether my sandpaper is getting clogged up. I believe I tried it wet, I tried it dry. Um, I'm not recommending it nor am I slating it. I just didn't like it. Didn't get on with it and yeah it, was, it's, it wasn't good. It wasn't a good experience for me and obviously every time I'd done that I had to go back over it and then dig out the bits that wasn't cured properly. And again, I'm trying to make the most of it. It's only three quid. Um, it, you know, it's, it's probably really good stuff for scratches that you can't even feel with a nail. Maybe anything bigger than that. Mm, I'm not too sure. So then I've, I decided to try and then put a load of um, primer back over it to try and fill out any of the pitted areas. So now I'm just giving it a good old sand down. I'm just prepping all the bodywork. For the under, for the base base layer, yeah, this is for the base layer. Good old soapy water clean down. Right, so here's a bit of a mistake. I, I sprayed it, sprayed it, um, and didn't leave it to cure. You know, I, I, tried, I was running out of time here. I need to get this done. When I've done this, there's a little rubber strip underneath the door that then pushed into the paper that kind of dug into the bits that I just primed. I, I kind of could have seen this was happening, but my mind was three, four steps ahead at the time. So just bending in the paper here. There's a great video that so uh, I'll paste the link on to, and he sort of tells you, you sort of back cover, so you, you never really leave much of a line. A bit later on, I managed to leave a line, because again, I was, I was being more hasty and trying to get it finished. But like, you sort of back cover it, and then that then stops a definite line because you tend to get a bit of fuzziness. Here I'm not really showing a great example of that. And yes, this is the base coat, metallic. And I'm kind of going, this bit didn't really bother me, I just needed to build up the layers really. Um, and then left it for a day or two to harden as much as it will harden. Obviously to fully harden and cure this stuff, if it's not uh, 2K, if it's 1K, you need to leave it for a good couple of weeks before really giving it any abuse. So then, yeah, that was left, new day. So sanding down, any oversprays. And the whole idea here was then to do a layer, a base layer, um, one final base layer, and then wait until that's just gone semi-dry and then a lacquer layer over the top of that. But I used that putty stuff again. And this then caused me to then have to re-sand down everything virtually back to the filler. So then I had to build up another base layer, cut a load of another base layers on top of that. So at this time I also was realizing that all this detail work that I put on under here was then being oversprayed. Every time I put a layer of paint on it, kind of then filled out my detail work. So then I started masking it off. In fact, I believe here I went over it one more time with the detail. What a lacquer. All the undercoat that I was putting on this then started building up. 
Um, and there's some problems down here, which you still can see. There's a little line, but then I've done that, and then I was using a knife put in that made it even worse. So, um, yeah, I've been to go back a couple of times to bear what you call it. Let's get into the filler and we fill in bits. Um, and this is the base coat applied. So, one last sand down. So that was actually quite annoying. Uh, there's just this like hairline that ran across the top. Couldn't get rid of it, couldn't sand it out. It seemed really weird. It's almost like it was lining up all the magnetic filings, metallic filings in the paint and, and creating a line. It was really bizarre. Almost looked like a crack, but it wasn't a crack. So now I'm cleaning the panel ready for the top layer spray.